If you are suffering from extensive credit card debt with high interest rates, you've probably heard that transferring your balances from a high interest card to one with a 0% interest rate can save you hundreds of dollars in interest and help you to pay off your debt faster. If you think this kind of offer sounds too good to be true, you could be right. There is an increasing number of credit card companies that now advertise 0% interest balance transfer offers, but with hidden charges for balance transfers buried in their credit card applications fine print. Is this price worth paying? In the past, Many credit card companies charged no balance transfer fee and those that did charge for balance transfers limited the fees to a maximum of $75 per transaction. With so many people scrambling to transfer their balances and the credit card companies suffering massive losses however, most balance transfers now average about 3 to 5 percent per transaction. Despite these increases in transfer fees, a 0% interest transfer still remains one of the easiest ways to reduce costs and speed up the process of paying off your credit card. For example, let's say you have a credit card with a $5,000 balance and a 20% interest rate. Yes, interest rates can and do get that high. By transferring this balance to a card with 0% April, you will save over $1,000 in interest over the course of one year. The 5% transfer fee would cost about $250, but you would still be saving about $750 in interest fees overall, savings which can be used towards reducing your credit card debt. So is a credit card balance transfer fee worth paying? The short answer is yes. In this example, even paying the highest balance transfer fee of 5% still works out in your favor. The long answer however, is yes, but only if the 0% APR rate lasts for 12 months or more. If you have good credit and can qualify for a 0% APR that lasts at least one year, you can't take advantage of some serious savings. However, if the 0% introductory rate only lasts 6 months, the transfer fees can essentially cancel out the benefits of transferring your balance. Using the above example, if you were to transfer your $5,000 balance to a credit card that only offered a 0% interest rate for 6 months, you would save a little over $500 on interest. Subtract the $250 transfer fee and the total savings would be barely enough to reduce your credit card debt by 5%. Why would anyone choose a balance transfer credit card that only offered a 0% interest rate for 6 months when other offers last for 12 or 18 months? Unfortunately, in most cases they don't actually realize they aren't receiving the offer for 12 months or more. Most companies will advertise 0% rates on transfers for up to 12 months. However, these up to 12 month offers often include additional stipulations in the fine print. The 12 month offer is based on credit. So you might be approved, but only be given a 0% rate for 6 months. Most consumers forget to read the fine print. They apply for a card that offers a 0% interest rate for up to 12 months, but only qualify for a 6-month 0% rate. Unfortunately, most won't figure out they've only received the introductory 0% interest for 6 months until it is too late. They have already transferred their balances and after 6 months has gone by they suddenly notice their interest rate isn't 0% anymore. The key to saving the most money on a balance transfer is not finding a card with the lowest balance transfer fees, but instead finding a credit card with a 0% rate that lasts at least 12 months. While you might notice higher initial savings with a 1% balance transfer fee on a card that offers 0% interest for up to 12 months, 
you could end up saving more with a 3 to 5 percent balance transfer fee on a card that offers 0 percent interest for 12 months. See the difference there? You should always read the fine print when filling out any application or form, but it's especially important to read the fine print when applying for a credit card transfer. Read the fine print and don't lose your savings on interest to transaction fees.